All right, everybody. Welcome back to some more Grand Theft Auto 5. Let's see where we left off here. Looks like we're playing as Michael right now. So let's head up to let's head up to his house. That's where we get some missions at. Hopefully, we can get there in one piece. I love the way this car sounds. I love these muscle cars. Looks like we got to hop on the freeway. Maybe. There is so much to do in this game. Like, I really think that this Let's Play is going to be a lot of fun. I just... There's a lot of stuff to do. I think it's going to be a very, very long... There's going to be a lot of videos in it because... Besides all the missions that we're going to be able to do, there's going to be a ton of free roam stuff that we're going to be able to do. Um... You know, besides all the activities, I mean, there's a, there's freaking golfing, there's tennis, there's all sorts of great stuff to do in this game that I'm excited to do. Hopefully this is the right way we need to go. Nope. Looks like we needed to take that other side. There we go. Much better. And for those of you who uh, follow my channel, Facebook, Twitter, any of that sort of stuff, um, I made an announcement the other day that I did take your guys' word. I went ahead and I returned that Hapog HD PVR. I didn't like it. It was causing issues already. I had to scrap a few videos that just didn't come out right. Um, it was overheating a lot. I did a lot of research on it. And after doing a lot of research, it turned out that a lot of people were having issues with that HD PVR. So I said, screw it. I took the thing back and I went and picked up an Elgato game capture. And this thing literally I plugged it in HDMI in HDMI out my USB to my computer installed the software and that was it like it was phenomenally it was so easy to install it was quick simple I did a test recording it recognized everything and it picked up everything just fine that Hapog was a chore to get set up to get everything working the software was really clunky um, just the reviews on it were terrible and unfortunately, I'm one of those people that fell into it of purchasing it because it's been around for a long time. But I can tell you right now that the Elgato Game Capture card is definitely, I'm a lot more happier with that one. You're such a fucking dictator! Whoa. So you pick it up and throw it over there. That makes sense. Living the life. For that drink you also, that's all. I wasn't really serious about that. What? Uh, you're here, whatever. Sit. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. That was just a repossession. Okay. You call it whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. What can I do for you? Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. I'm retired. Ain't you a bit young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years. And I got out alive. That makes me the right age. 
You look like a good kid. If you want, if you want my advice, give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt, rob, kill indiscriminately, and maybe, just maybe if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. It's bullshit. Go to college. Then you're gonna rip people off and get paid for it. It's called capitalism. Good advice. So what I saw the other day was like when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone, right? What you saw the other day was a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well, in today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. As much as I can. So that's why you're here in Vinewood then, right? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot. Thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. Jesus, man. You have a good time, you know that. I tell you what. At least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. It's not too far from here. Let's go. All right, man. I'm following you. We're taking my wife's car. Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink. Dad, shit. I mean, our boat going down the Western Highway. It's, it's been stolen. What? The yacht's been stolen? I, I was trying to sell it. I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it. They just want to take it. I'm hiding in the head. You're insane. All right, I'm coming for my boat. All righty, then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. I'll do what I can to help with that, man. Who cares about our son? Don't ever have kids. Hey, man, look. If I had kids, I don't think no parenting issues would arise over who had both privileges and who don't. Shit, motherfuckers would be lucky to sit in the bathtub. <laughs> shit, things that desperate, huh? Nah, but, you know, shit, I was making a point. Pathologizing self-deprecation. I know it well. Yeah, man, but shit, where the boat at? Little shit's been hijacked. They're somewhere on the Western Highway. Man, ain't you worried? About my boat? Yeah, I am. But you can always buy another boat. Yeah, tell my accountant that. Man, you can always get credit for one. But have you come repo it? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, homie. I ain't your homie. I'm someone you want to impress. Really? Man, I thought you was retired. Why the fuck do I want to impress some slipper-wearing motherfucker? Because I can still teach you a thing or two. Maybe help you open the door to all the joys that boat-related parenting issues entail. You don't mess with an old man in his boat, that's for sure. in a fucking hurry, man. Yeah, well, we'll catch him. Hey, what we about to do? I'm gonna get you close, and you're gonna go board that thing. All right, man, shit. Fucking oh, let's do this. don't dump my boat. I got a piece in the glove box. They give you shit, I'll take them out. All that's cool, man. You shoot with one hand and drive with the other. But my motherfucking concern is, I might make you jump and fall in fucking trap. You said you wanted to learn from the best. Get on there. Get on there, man. I can only hold it right here for so long. Get up there. Oh, crap, dude. Hang on. Hang on, dude. Not the engine. Shit. The fucking engine. Hey, hey. Over here. Oh, he shot my motor. You got four lanes to throw guys at. You're pirates, you know that? Get the jump on him, Frank. Get your fucking hands hey, off of him. Shoot this motherfucker in the face already. Okay, now go find Jimmy. Dad? Wait. Jimmy! No, no, no. Oh Can't crap! Up for the boom. Fuck. Hold on. <laughs> ah, too close. Ah. 
close. Get under him, man. Let him drop in the car. Uh, if your mother can see you now, she left. Get in the car, dude. My motor ain't gonna take much more of this. Goes my boat. Ah, my fucking boat. Hey, it's just a thing. At least you still got a son. Hey, it's a chop shop back here, dog. You drive us there, we can get the ride fit. My boat. It's just a thing. My boat. Please stop doing that. Listen, I fucked up, okay? I'm not going to lie. That was a really bad judgment call. But shit, Dad, I nearly died. And all you give a shit about is this fucking boat. No, it's not that. It's all we do is scream at each other. No wonder I can't get a job. It's all your fucking fault. Or it's not, but it's partly your fault. I, I mean, I just want to impress you. By selling my boat to some gangbangers? I know it sounds dumb when you put it like that. All you do is daydream or get angry. Look, I love you, Jimmy, but you're an asshole. And right now, with my boat disappearing over the horizon, that's all I can see. Frank, do you do me a favor and give this kid a ride home after they fix this thing? I want to headbutt the road in peace. Oh, great. Leave me with the home invader. <laughs> I'll get it done, dog. No problem. Dad! Enough. All right. Enough. Franklin, do me a favor. Call me a taxi, will you? No problem. Hey, I need a cab as soon as you can send one. Los Santos Customs, by the airport. All right, thanks. Thank you. Hey, so you uh do much yachting? Not anymore. No, I don't. Before, I mean, man. No, not really. This little shit stays in his room all day, and I don't have any other people to go with. You know? I like looking at it. Looking? Yeah. You know, I come down to the marina, sit on the dock, pour myself a drink, and look at her. Jacqueline. It'd clear my head, you know? Let me dream. Jacqueline, huh? Well, maybe you need to do some other shit to fill your time. Dream other dreams, man. Hey, this the place up here. I know this dude, man. His name How. He gonna look after him. So you sure you're good? Yeah, I got this. All right. Ooh, I'm gonna come up. Get out and walk around. It's okay, I can just climb over. Look, man, I'm gonna get the ride fixed, man. And drop it back off at your house along with this dude. It's all good, though, man. You go and get your head right, all right? All right, listen, thanks for today. I appreciate it. You stop back out to the house, we'll talk. Uh, you see? Show, man. Get your boat, man. Yeah. Come in. Trick this whip. We need the motor fixed. That's all I care about. This is my wife's car. I'm not trying to spend no money on this. Trick this whip or what? Still need to get you out for one of the races, Franklin. See if you drive as fast as you talk. Prepare for free. Cha ching. All right. Good as new. Wow, we can do armor, brakes, bumpers, Dude, engine, happening? exhaust, hood, horn, lights, plates, respray, skirts, spoilers, suspension, transmission, turbo, wheels, windows. <whistles> That's a lot of stuff we can do. I'm not going to spend any of my money on this car, though. It's now repaired, at least. Now we got to take this dude home. I'm going to take you home now. It's Franklin, right? Yeah, Franklin. All the credit for our guy. The home invader. You know what? Call me what you like, man. Yeah. I, I, no, I, I mean, sure. Jimmy, ain't he? Or James. 
Jimmy. Or just like Jizzle? <laughs> no, nah, man, I'll just stick with Jimmy, homie. So, uh, what's the deal, man? Huh? You and my old man? I see you at the dealership. Then someone steals my whip. And Pop is all like, he's been down there to talk to you guys. Uh, Your Pops did more than talk. What'd he do? Look, man, if he ain't tell you, I ain't gonna tell you. But I lost my fucking job, and I thought maybe he could help me find a new one. Dude, my dad is retired. Like, fully. Like, his only marketable skills are watching TV and daytime drinking. <sighs> man, look, I don't know, homie. He seems okay to me. Shit, he saved your ass. You saved my ass. Nah, nah, man. Well, well, maybe we good together, you know? Like, maybe we can get shit done we couldn't do separate. If it keeps him out of the house, that's cool by me. <sighs> yeah, well, we'll see. Look, I'm sorry my dad lost to your job. It's hard out there. Tough. I mean, I'm employmentally challenged at the moment. Oh, you got fired, dude. Damn, that's rough. Not fired as such. I didn't get a job. I've been there, homie. You've been putting them resumes out there, but no one's hiring, huh? No, I, uh, I didn't get a job. I've never had a job. It feels like hard work. Life, the days just kind of disappear. Hey, you play right to slaughter? <laughs> Yo, so like, since we're both unemployed, like, we could run together, you know? Yeah, I think about it, homie. Or, or we could just like, shop it, you know? Play darts or get our drink on, strip clubs. Come on, dude. I get real crazy. Yeah, I got your number, shit. I need it, man. But, uh, hey, hey you know what? Man, go easy on your pops, dog. all right? All right, church. <laughs> exactly, man. My brother from another mother. I mean, I, I hope so, because my mom was kind of a skank back in the day. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> yeah, whatever, homie. Peace. Mission pass, completion gold, 100%. Not too shabby. Well, there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed another Grand Theft Auto 5 episode. We'll see you guys on the flip side. Have a great day.